Republican Kevin McCarthy was elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives early on Saturday after making extensive concessions to a group of right-wing hardliners that raised questions about the party's ability to govern. Speaking to media after the vote, McCarthy thanked fellow Republicans for their support with special praise for former President Donald Trump saying no one should doubt his influence. Trump earlier this week failed to persuade the group of 20 holdouts to fall in line behind McCarthy's bid for speaker, underscoring the former president's declining power over the party he reshaped. It is now time for all great Republican House members to vote for Kevin. Trump wrote on his true social media service in an unheeded early Wednesday morning appeal. McCarthy's victory in the 15th ballot brought an end to the deepest congressional dysfunction in over 160 years, but it sharply illustrated the difficulties that he will face in leading a narrow and deeply polarized majority. McCarthy, 57, suffered one final humiliation when Representative Matt Gaetz withheld his vote on the 14th ballot as midnight approached, prompting a scuffle in which fellow Republican Mike Rogers had to be physically pulled away. He won at least on a margin of 216-212. As he took the gavel for the first time, McCarthy represented the end of President Joe Biden's Democrats hold on both chambers of Congress. We've got to do so much work to do, and he was a great influence to make that all happen. So thank you, President Trump. Mr. It wasn't a heated one between Matt and I, no. Uh, what I was telling him is, I'd rather win on the 15th. So he we went to another ballot. That was a joke, but you didn't catch it. Right? <laughs> no, what happened was, um, it became a tie. And uh, I really think, Matt had talked to me before, Matt really wanted to get everybody there. And so there, look, through all of this, people's emotions go up and down. And at the, end of the, at the end of the night, Matt got everybody there from the point that not nobody voted against the other way. So it actually helped unite people. But what changed from them going from voting against you to voting present on the next vote? Was it them President spe Trump specifically? Well, I, President Trump talked to a lot, but I also think it's them and, and wanting to make this conference united and work together. So I thanked them for that. And, and Matt worked hard on that as well. <laughs> but for, yes. How do you prevent situation like this from happening on every tight contested vote going forward over the next two years of your speech? I think what you will see by having this now, we've worked out how to work together. You know, it, it's a little more difficult when you go into a majority and maybe um, the margins aren't high. I mean, if you, if you study American history, this was the closest margin than any first person to win a speaker in the last 70 years. But if you look at the end of the day of how many people voted against me, it was the smallest margin that any modern speaker has had. So it may have taken a little longer, and I always like to quote my father. You know, he died 23 years ago, but he would tell, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So don't judge us on how we start, watch how we finish. And I think by having the disruption now, really built the trust with one another and learned how to work together. What we're going to have to find in our mindset is that we have to front load, that we have to think about and work on the bills with a microcosm of the conference before we even start writing it. And that's really what we learned here. And working the rules, there were a lot of great ideas. At the end of the day, I remember on the January 1st, we did this conference call with the entire conference. And when we walked through all the rules, people were excited. People were mad before, like, what were you working on? Why was it holding all up? But at the end of the day, the product was better. So maybe 100 years from now, some master student will have to write about this. But really what most people will write about or feel is the outcome of how well we'll run the floor for the next two years. All right, last question. Thank you all.